Hi, I'm Kelly Sullivan and I play Gina in Found in Time. Uh, the first thing I look for uh, when I read a script is story and what intrigues me about that story if it's told in a different way, in a new way, character development, relationships, the intricacies about how a story is told and that to me is everything. Is this new? Is this a new version of something? I didn't know what else to do. What happened to talking about things first? You didn't want to talk. RJ's dead. I know. So are two psych cops. Yes. They killed him. I killed them. No, you didn't. The way that I prepare for a role is um, I, I research and do as much homework as I can before the first day of shooting. Career-wise, I do homework on background, childhood, uh, belief systems, value systems, relationships within the film. Generally, if it's not given to you in the script, then you can sort of work with the director and the writer and and explore that and just enrich your performance. It's all that work before, before you show up on the first day is really important. How I started pre preparing for Gina and understanding this character was really uh, understanding through just many discussions with Arthur, her career, what, how she, what she does for a living and dealing with time slippage and trying to, trying to get a firm base on that side of her, but then also understanding her relationship with Chris. And a lot of that came with the filming. So are, are you allowed to talk about it? Can I ask you yes. about your work? Or? Yes, I, I mostly do individual therapy. What kind of people do you see? Uh, people who are trying to deal with life changes. Like career changes? Yeah. Uh, getting through school, going through a divorce, uh, people usually come to me when they can't function the way they used to. Sounds cool. <laughs> Sometimes. As important for me is I always spend a lot of time understanding where people come from and their history and their background. For me, in this film, it was more about what was happening then and now. Uh, I spoke a lot with Arthur about how I fit into the story, how I influenced Chris, but also sort of where where my story starts and where it ends in the film. And it was, it was a very big challenge. This, this woman, Gina, is extremely strong and smart and um, very much in love with Chris, but also has this other side to her, this struggle between the, the doctor side and her love for him. And it was just a really interesting I am. character to play. I've never so played stubborn. anything like her. I am not being yes, stubborn. Yes, you are very stubborn. Why don't you just tell me the truth? I would, and I am. If anything was happening, I would let you know. Fine, it's just a headache. Have you been taking your pills? Mm hmm Look at me. Have you been taking your pills? Yes, I've been taking my pills. Uh, working on Found in Time was an extremely collaborative experience for me from the first day uh, when I was offered the role and I remember Arthur Vinci uh, called me, left a message, and even before a table read, he wanted to uh, speak with me about the the movie and if I had any questions and any ideas or additions to the, the world in which Found in Time took place, and which was which was really special and and a little rare because a lot of the times you know you get a job and you show up on set and you start the very um, thick different script and it dealt with a lot of complicated themes and um, so for me from going in from day one I felt a real sense of collaboration and ultimately when once I started filming especially with uh, McLeod who, who I played opposite uh, McLeod Andrews he uh, he and I 
spent a lot of time talking about our relationship, which was very complicated. I can just remember every single day that I filmed between takes, you know, just talking a lot with, uh, with the director, Arthur, and McLeod, and trying to really flush out the, the meat of every single moment. These things feel more real to me than words. But you wouldn't be able to think that if you didn't have the words. So it's just more real. Why do we always fight right before we go to bed? I have to try and help her. She's an attractor. She'll just pull someone else into the mess. What? Hey, what is it? You look worried. Why can't they remain vendors? It's a partial success at best. I'll take a partial success. College, med school, and a postdoctorate, you'll take a partial success? He's rubbing off on you. Uh, I had a lot of interaction with, with everyone on set, the cast and the crew. Ben Wolf, our DP, was extraordinary. He's an extraordinary DP, very talented. And working with Ghislaine, our costume designer, she asked me, I, I remember our, through our table read, she asked me, you know, if I had any uh, suggestions or any recommendations for her for the character of what I would wear. It's just a very rare thing when um, everyone comes together for the good of the piece and really cares about each specific individual detail. I feel like there's a level of trust that we all had with each other that um, enabled us to take what we had and make it even that much better because we were all there every second and contributing for the love of the film. <laughs>